Greetings and welcome to Agrava. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Most of the delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jeva, will take you. I have some business to attend to before we begin. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soke. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief, despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must do the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this move, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce of Kittery. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government of the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted prime directive. In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand, the Klingons. I'm reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. We are so...
I apologize for the interruption. My name is Toka. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? I apologize for... Franklin Drake says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. The lower level of this facility is off limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded, so while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door. Empress, the fleet is on its way to Vulcan. Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. Hail Hakiv and put him through to my personal terminal. Then leave me. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress. Begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer and file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. I have Hakiv, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. Chitterer did not go as planned. Now they have powerful ally, Taurus Missy. Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. 
You disappoint me, Hakib. I trust you will not do so again. would send spies instead of diplomats, and you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders! disabling the transport inhibitor. Your ambassadors are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Farewell.
I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter.
won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. <laughs>